Hey, what up, guys? It's Demon790, and today I'm going to show you how to connect to Xbox Live through your XP computer. This is not just the bridging method, this is also a different method that's guaranteed to work. I first did the bridging method, it worked once, and then after that, and then it worked again, and I've been trying to reconnect ever since. But the computer got the blue screen of death, and I just recently fixed it. I got a laptop down here, but this is not mine. I've been using that to connect to Xbox Live. But now I've got my computer working again, I've been trying to fix it, and now I can actually connect Xbox Live. And I'm going to show you how. First, on your Xbox, you're going to go to Network Settings. On your wired network, go to Configure Network, and go to Additional Settings, and press Factory Re Defaults. It will re return to Factory Defaults, and I'll set it so it's, there's no settings or anything in it. Okay, so now you've done that, I'll just leave that on that page. Go back to your computer. Now on start, I'm going to just find my keyboard, I've got two keyboards. Press start, oh wrong one, that's alt. Press start, and then go to run, which says run, and, C and press CMD. When you press CMD, the second window will appear up here. And after that, you want to put in... IP config and I'll put, even, I'll put that in the description if you can't see it but there it is IP config press the enter key and it'll bring up your wireless default settings and it, at the moment it's just bringing up the network bridge that I have already created now the network bridge that is actually the same as my that is the figure on yours it'll come up local area connection and wireless network what you want is the wireless one, you want to take down the IP address, the Southern Math and default gateways numbers. Now, on your IP address, you must change it. Not completely though, it's an easy way to do this. On the last two digits, add 10. So remember mine was 192.168.0.1. Okay, after you've done that, now go back to your Xbox. Okay, I'm going to get close up with this. This is what the new height HD phone. And actually now, that's perfect. And now we're going to press configure network. And now on your IP settings tab, press manual. And what you want to do is put in the numbers that you just recorded off that CMD. Now that's what you want. So you put that in. And just remember, the last two digits on your IP address must be 10 more than the one that was on your computer. You put the sub next mask and the default gateway. After you've done all that, sorry if you just saw my messy floor. I'm in a messy per, a messy bit of a bugger, but I've got to clean it. And after you've done all that, now you want to go to your wireless connection settings. I just press right click here, press open network connections. And as you can see, I've already done it. What you want to do here at the top here, you'll see two connections: the wireless network connection and the local area connection. The local area one is the Evernet one. What you want to do is bridge them. When you bridge them, the network bridge will appear and the two will be bridged. And make sure that the wireless network connection 6 or whatever it says is connected. If it doesn't say connected, it says disconnected and there's an IP confliction. And the local area connection must also be connected. Now, of all those taken into account, now, what you're going to do now is, you are going to go to here, and you're going to test your Xbox Live connection. Now, this thing should connect, and there you go, bam, straight to the internet, and now connect to Xbox Live. Don't expect to get open that, or freaking, don't expect to get open that. I think the best you're going to get is modern. If you get open, you got a series of fast connection. But the best you're going to get really is moderate. And let me just connect right here. Here you go. It'll say moderate, blah, blah, blah. And you can now sign into Xbox Live. So I'm just going to go back and sign into Xbox Live right here. So sign in. Da -da -da -da. Come on, sign in. And voila. We are now signed into Xbox Live. 
And to prove that I am actually doing it through the computer, there is the Evernet cable, and behind that's Turtle Beaches, and that's a freaking MP3 player connection. And I'm just gonna follow this cable right to the computer. And on the computer, it says connected as well. So that's now. Now, another thing as well, don't freak out if this happens to you, which it pro most probably will. When you turn off your Xbox, which I will show you now, on here, it will come up with local area connection network cable unplugged. Now, when you pr turn it back on, what you're expecting to see on the PC is it reconnecting. It's just gonna let it sound. See, I've, I've turned the sounds off as well, so you can hear me clearly. This phone is a Sony Xperia Ray of a HD camera. It's pretty. It's pretty gnarly. And as you see, it won't sign its Xbox Live. The reason why is the computer, my XP computer anyway, won't reconnect it just like that. What you have to do, if this happens to you, there's no, there's no big biggie. Just press on it, press right click to press on disable. Disable it first, and then enable it. You'll not enable it, and it'll say connected and bridged. So now we're just going to go back to the Xbox, and we're just going to test the Xbox Live connection again. Just go back to network saying, wire network, blah blah blah, test Xbox Live, sign everyone out, whatever. And, wait for it, bam, and now it's now connected to Xbox Live. So that happened, just remember that step, it will happen, and just remember that step, and it will reconnect. Every single time you turn off your Xbox, you will have to do that. If you don't have to do that, um, nice, your computer is good. Mine isn't exactly a good computer anyway, but it's good for gaming, like Call of Duty and all that shit. But XP is a bit of a jiffy. Let's just get on Xbox Live, and now we are signed into Xbox Live. Connection warning came up, blah, blah, blah. We are now going to go to to the left. And sign in. And there we go. Well, I went back into Xbox Live, Game Marketplace, all that shabam. Well, this was Demon's Turn 9 Zero. You should get the Xbox Live for your Xbox. Don't sweat if it didn't work for you. It should work. It works for me. If, if it works for you, please like the vid, favorite, whatever. But another thing is, there's another way to connect through XP, and that is the sharing way. But the problem is, there's IP conflictions, and it does it every time when I try and do it. But if you can do the sharing way, great. But this way works if you tamper around with some of the settings on your Xbox. Thank you for watching. Comment or subscribe. More vids coming up soon. Thank you.